through it before the the concierge nerf when that was like the most popular deck at super mm -hmm. high legend built this like mega tech heavy deck with customs enforcers and so on and so forth uh, to be able to counteract that and now we're kind of a, an evolutionary point from that where it's like anti-spell hand buff paladin and this is twice now this game that maxi has seized initiative through anti-spell tech cards blocking the coin right mm -hmm. because there was the coin weapon turn that maxi blocked with the neophyte then the Razor Scale last turn blocked Coin Ziliax. Otherwise, this is the turn that Gamer would have played yeah. last turn and actually been in the position where he was the one threatening lethal with the Ziliaxes. So uh, those tech cards, even though these aren't the matchup for them, right? Anti-spell tech cards in a matchup where zero spells start in your deck and they're actually still proving to be pretty effective. Yeah, for sure. Sandcastle is going to be getting some work done. But that's 16 plus, is that 6 outfit. on the outfit? Yep, yep I yep. think so. Alfred Taylor does it. And just like that, wow. And, and again, um, RVG not too happy with this one, of course, but... Alright, so we are reviewing Maxi Bond's lineup for the Masters Tour Summer Championship. And this last one is something that we really know from Ladder. Uh, it is a really strong de deck, it is hand buff Paladin, and it's just really solid, really good across all ranks of Ladder. Um, it might not be completely overpowered, but it is at the very top. Um, so let's have a look at the deck he brought to the Masters Tour. And if you want to try it out, I do have the deck code in the description for the deck that Maxi Bond brought, and this is definitely a good deck for Ladder. Um, Generally, we know it. the hand buff, we want to draw a bunch of minions, uh, we want to buff them up, uh, we have your uh, Grimes Street Outfitter, we have our Moslots run, and uh, definitely also Painter's Virtue, which is also really strong. Um, then towards the end of the game, what we can do is then either we have enough damage on the board, or we do have some charge options with Leroy Jenkins. We have South Sea Deckhand if we still have a Painter's Virtue equipped. And then we have an option also to add some Outfit Tailors to really buff up those minions. Either uh, we buff up Leroy, we buff up South Sea Deckhand. And it's just really, really strong. There's not a lot of decks at the moment that can handle this. For the Mulligan, the stuff you want to go for, and not all of them at once, but either Drone Deconstructor is really good, Righteous Protector is really good, uh, you want to have your Grime Street Outfitter, Muslotron, and your Painter's Virtue. If you don't have a Painter's Virtue uh, in the starting hand, but you do have a Instrument Tech, it's not on the highest win kept win rates, but of course you want to keep that one in order for you to draw into a Painter's Virtue. But if you do have one in the Mulligan, I honestly would just throw Instrument Tech back because you end up maybe drawing the other one or stuff like that and you have at least up until turn 7 uh, to draw into one of the other instrument techs or the other copy of Painter's Virtue because you'll drop it like on, you can coin it out on 3 but drop it on 4 and then you have 3 hits with the, with the, um, with the weapon. So that's really fast, the game plan and the mulligan. Uh, and it's something that we know from Ladder, so I won't take up too much of your time with this one. Let's just enjoy the deck in action that Maxibon brought to the Masters Tour. Leandrin versus Jaina. The time for dreaming is over. All hands on deck. All right, these are all very good keeps. So I'll keep them. This is like benchmark. If there's three cards that <laughs> I guess now four cards that you want in your opening uh, in your mulligan this could be it now question is do we drop that one or that one <laughs> okay um, do I want to tempo out some stuff uh, let me just do that one. That's, it's actually a little bit tricky, right? But then I can do that on three. And then I can forge. And then I HGD. Oh, nice. And then on the next turn, either we do this one directly or we forge play that one. I don't 
need the healing right now, but it was also it would also be kind of good just to have that um, one cost plushie, the miniature plushie, getting a bunch of uh, buffs, and then we have a Leroy finisher as well. I guess it depends. But if he's just going face, I might do the other one. But I think I might need to do it anyway because that I would really like to get rid of uh, the buff one. What's that called? Flame Revenant. Um, there we go. Even though I don't feel that much or anything at all, actually. We'll see. Uh, one one could go for. Yeah, maybe just dropping that one. I'm not sure. At some point, point. His uh, lamp lighters will be pretty big. Okay. You know what? Let me just do this one. Then next turn, we could do some other good stuff. Fair enough. So I think I need to set up kind of an OTK. Okay, so the three four is definitely a target. So if I do that one, I could get there. Yeah, let's do this. And then these two, that one as well. Then I'm gonna draw a bunch of minions. That one. Just getting some stats out there. Ten. He's not gonna be. He doesn't have. He can't play two lamp liners, and he's not on eleven damage yet. And now I do have some healing possibilities. There's 10 damage, I have 9 healing. Essentially 11 with that one. I kind of want to get that one done first. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, I don't know. It's also once he gets to that point where it's going to be 2. Lamp lighters, then that's gonna be a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, it's not gonna really gonna do a lot, right? Uh, let me get this one done. Could be that one, maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna overdraw. I could get the other painter's virtue like this. But I do think I need to thin out. I think I need to respect the board a little bit here. But it is a ton of damage. And from hand I have 16. Can we do? I can trade off one of these, and that's not going to be enough. That's going to be 33 into 11. That's 44. And he has way more. Oh, well, not way more than that, but he has more. I see. He really does not like me healing. Clearly. <laughs> okay. 
But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna trade off the one, two. I still have one of those. Okay. Okay, we're getting it's close. Very close. You know what? I think I need to use that one for healing. Right? Definitely this one. I think that's gonna be more actually if I do it this way. Just gonna use this one to clear off some stuff as well. That one the eight damage base. Uh, maybe he has another lamp lighter, but it's not enough. The other one did what? Like eight, nine, something like that. Sure, we're good. We got there, <laughs> but it was close. Leadrin versus Melfurion. I must protect the wild. All hands on deck. But if it is a concierge a druid uh, with the drinks, then race of scale can be good, but I'm not sure. Like it is dragon druid, and then I don't wanna drop that one. Cult Neophyte on 2 could actually be fine, because usually that's where they could ramp with a, a Malfurion's Gift into Coin and then that one. First off, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna think about what to do. He kept one card, the Mulligan. Curve-wise, I would really go for Moslotron, like, forge that one. He still has that one. Okay, now he uses the coin. Okay, then I am not doing because then he can't do the Malfurion's gift. And not even new heights. Uh this one. We're gonna get rid of He can use his hero power on the next turn. But if he does that, I also want to get rid of that one. So he doesn't value trade that one. I guess. Then if I do draw like a drone deconstructor, I think actually I want to do a gold panel. Draw some stuff. I'm just going to do this one. Come in here. It buffs up Leroy, and it sets up for, yeah, I guess a good turn. Okay. Right now, I'm thinking I'm going in for these two. But, of course, it's not the greatest, because... He's probably just gonna draw his uh, Summer Flower Child, I think that's the name of it, this 5 drop. That's the best one here. And that is something you would keep the Mulligan when it was Desert Matron. You can still do it, yes. So we know he has one, at least one dragon in his hand. What is he planning on doing here? Okay, that one. So he wants to get rid of the damage. Fill the skies with oh, the isn't this a Highlander list? I think it is. Yeah, and then we're gonna do... Oh, 
well, this is actually a challenge, right? <laughs> because... Uh, yeah, that's not awesome. I think I need to do this because I'm gonna draw this and then I'm gonna draw another one. Okay, I'm, I am... Um, I'm down for it this way. Then let's buff up this one. And then we get another charge here. I'm in a bit of a hurry, I guess. This is not buffed yet. 10 and 8. We're getting pretty close, actually. Swipe. Yeah. And then that's more or less his turn, right? Then we're just gonna do this, and then that's gonna be 16 points of damage, along with Leroy. And then we're just... And if this fails... Yeah, this one as well, right? <laughs> Actually, that one, together with Leroy, is just 13 damage. If not, then we are just gonna... Call that a blade? I've got three. Can't do the same one, okay. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Okay, just there. I don't even need that one. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> At least he has chicken. 